Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to, and I know I say this a lot, but another spontaneous vlog. Now today is not a vlogging day for me at all, however, you may be able to tell behind me, we have had a huge, for Cornwall, amount of snow overnight and you know what, I thought I want to capture this because it's very, very rare that we get snow this deep. Oh, <laughs> in Cornwall. Very, very, very rare. We are close to the coast, north coast and south coast. We stick out at the bottom of England and it just doesn't happen. Even if the rest of the country gets it, Cornwall never does. However, today, for some reason, Cornwall has got it and pretty much the rest of the country don't, apart from Scotland. So I did come out bright and early and muck the ponios out, give them extra hay and leave them in for a few hours, didn't I, Banks? But now I'm going to rug them up. Well, no, you are already rugged because it went so cold last night. You don't really need it, but Mummy felt sorry for you. And pop them into the field and see what they make of the snow. It's definitely the most Banksy has ever seen. I don't really know about dinks. Like I say, we very rarely get it. And I want to capture it primarily for my memories and to look back on in years to come. I did try and I'll insert a bit of footage here, but it is in portrait mode. Pushing my wheelbarrow into his stable this morning. As you can see, there was snow all the way around the edge of the wheelbarrow. You guys in like Canada or America are going to be like, Tina, why are you so excited about snow? Especially after not long getting back from Canada yourself. But honestly, it's very, very, very rare. And yeah, he was like, what the heck is that? You're not bringing that in my stable, mum. Oh, it's your wheelbarrow, you daft banana. <laughs> I need to come and muck out. Oh no, don't bring that in here, mum. <laughs> Can I come in? <laughs> you tasty. Can I come in, please? Please, it's not scary. We need to pick up poo. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll leave it out here. Oh dear. What is it? <laughs> Like it very much. You were like, no, you can't bring that in here. That's scary. He was snorting at it, weren't you? Anyways, my hands getting cold by filming with out having a glove on, which I've taken off, and I'm going to change his rug, pop him out, and see what their reaction is to seeing so much snow for the very first time. Oh. I am also going to pop some haylage into the field for the ponios because obviously they aren't going to be able to eat anything and I don't want them to be cahooning around. I want them to just chill, stretch their legs a bit. Chill, what a word to use in the snow. That was unintentional guys. Um, yeah, just stretch their legs, have an hour out, see what they make of it. Hopefully eat some yummy haylage whilst I give the stables a proper muck out and then they will probably come back in because as much as it's beautiful, for us to look at and I think it would be nice for them to see it I do not want to up the chances of any form of injury for Banksy especially as he has not long had a month off and only done a little bit of work over the last few weeks so I don't want him hooning around hence this is going out but I would like to see what he makes of the snow and obviously capture some nice pictures and footage to have for myself for years to come and hopefully you guys will enjoy watching a bit of it too. Right, you, this is what it's going to feel like on your nose when you try to eat it, okay? Get used to that feeling, because you're so going to try and eat it straight away, aren't you? Oh, yeah, nice. We like, we like. 
We definitely had. Oh, still got a Christmas decoration up there. Need to cut that off. We definitely had a little bit of frost one Christmas a few years ago that did cover the land and was very much looked like snow, but it was rock hard. It wasn't this lovely, fluffy stuff that you can play in and throw and deep. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be interesting to see what you guys make of it, won't it? Are you going out first, little man? Or will that wind Banksy up? Actually, yes, I think. So Banksy should definitely go out first, shouldn't you? It says, yes, please, mummy, hurry up. I want to go explore. Right, head collar on just in case the yard is a bit slippy. But Oh, you don't even want to step on it. <laughs> you silly sausage. I don't think it is. No, it's definitely not. It's not slippy. But I just want him to go at my speed rather than the speed that I think he is going to want to go at. Oh, my goodness. I know. What do you think? Yeah, that's the camera set up. <laughs> Vlogging life. Let me lead you in a little bit and then turn around. Turn around, take your head collar off so I'm nowhere near your back legs. Steady, have the haylage, please. Oh, steady, steady, steady. What do you think, Banks? He's like, what is this stuff? <laughs> I told you you put your nose in it straight away. What is this stuff? And food. Oh my goodness, horses are so fickle, aren't they? But I'm glad they are. Should we go and get your little friend? Oh, what is it? Wait, steady. Yeah, you're obviously gonna roll. Don't go near the camera, please. I didn't think you'd go up in that direction. I thought you'd stay near the haylage. <laughs> steady. Okay, half wishing I put boots on him now. Oh, steady. <laughs> It'd be a funny Binks. It'd be funny. We could go crazy and leave it all behind. Did you think I forgot you? Did you? You need to go steady too, please. No speedy Gonzales. In fact, that won't fit you. That can stay there. You're not scared. <laughs> Deep, sweetheart, steady, steady. Dinkle, don't you dare wee in it. I know you like to mark which pile is yours. Quality haylage, don't you know? Hey, Banks. Oh, careful, Reg! <laughs> Reggie, what happened? Reg! Obviously, he's got to come and join us. Careful, big boy. Yes, this was the little tiny kitten, guys. He has got absolutely humongous over the last few months. We're saying it's just your fluffy winter coat, but actually I think you're a bit fat, Reg. Be careful. I know you've got nine lives, but... Well, I'm pleased to report that was actually relatively uneventful because we do not want any ponies falling over or hurting themselves, do we, Binks? Nope. <sighs> It's actually surprisingly warmer than I thought it would be and I am boiling in my layer so I think you're probably relatively warm in yours too so I think that rug can come off I don't think you actually need it on at all with that big furry coat do you mate let's do that what you feel I don't even know if this is real <laughs>
Oh, of course you're going to go and roll in that same patch now. It. Is he yummy? Is he yummy? <laughs> oh, Dingle Bomb, you're too cute. Yes, you are. You're too, too cute. Well, needless to say, I haven't yet got round to mucking out. I've just been enjoying spending time with my boys in the field. Thankfully, the acrobatics were only one lap. They can't actually, and I think thankfully Banksy's been sensible enough to realise they can't really do a lot because the snow actually packs up in their hooves and makes it quite slippery for you, doesn't it? You haven't got any grip. Let me show you. Thankfully, he's been sensible and realised, um, I think they say that if you put Vaseline in, it stops that happening. Obviously, I didn't think of that prior to putting them out. So as I say, they won't be staying out long, but just nice for them to stretch their legs experience the snow and nice for me to have a little bit of downtime with them because if you follow on instagram you'll have seen we've had even more family bad news um winston got ambulanced in who is rob's dad those that don't know brian was rob's stepfather and then rob's dad winston is who we live with and he sadly had to be ambulanced into hospital on saturday um Oh, I love that noise, Banks. It's very therapeutic, that noise is. He, he is doing okay, he is stable. Um, but yeah, we're literally awaiting, awaiting updates. Thankfully, you can visit now. We have to um, pick time slots to visit. So we will be going in later this evening, I think about six o'clock. And yeah, not much more to say really, apart from this actually was quite a nice surprise to wake up to this morning because it's meant a nice, relaxing, chill day. For all of us which is much needed i am going to get on now and get my stables all done though so that they only have another half an hour or so out because all they're actually doing is eating thankfully um i mean who can resist the yummy silvermore haylage hey eh? and then you can have one of their swinger tie up treats in your stable this afternoon so that you're not getting that belly even fatter hey eh? Just have that rather than a hay net for the afternoon in there to keep you occupied. I'm going to sign out. As I said, this was a spontaneous vlog, guys, but hopefully you've enjoyed watching it and seeing a little bit of snowy and sunny Cornwall. It's definitely made me smile. It has been such miserable, gloom and doomy weather over the last few weeks. It's actually really, really nice to have a bit of blue sky along with a lovely bit of snow. Now I know lots of you are gonna say that's not a lot of snow, but this definitely is a lot of snow for Cornwall and for it to still be here at lunchtime because literally normally it would have all thawed out or melted away by now, but we have still got a fair whack as you can see all around me. I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thank you for watching. Do like, comment, and subscribe if you don't already. And I will see you hopefully for some actual ridden training work in a week or so's time fingers crossed that this doesn't last and put any hindrance on our training one day of it or two days of it is lovely but we don't want a lot more do we so over and out for now hope you are all well comment below if you've had snow too um i'm pretty sure it's only cornwall at the moment but over and out cornwall and scotland see you all soon bye bye <laughs>